One person remains in critical condition tonight after a bus carrying people home for the holidays slid off a highway in Oregon. The accident happened on Christmas Eve as the bus was making its way in the freezing rain from Denver to Portland. In all, 28 people were treated at area hospitals. Oregon police say the bus slid sideways on an icy bridge and rolled over before coming to rest in the median. With several local companies mining it, salt is one of Ohio's biggest commodities. But is the state of Ohio paying too much for its own salt? Fox 8 News reporter Bob Sermonera says one company thinks it is, and they're suing the state because of it. The state may be the victim of its own laws, one that requires buy Ohio and a second that mandates buy America. A salt company from Kansas has sued the state, claiming that their bid for road salt was lower than Ohio's salt mine companies, but they still did not get the lucrative contracts. The state attorney general gave the okay to pay the higher prices. Under the Buy Ohio law, if the bids are within 5% of one another, then the preference is supposed to go to the Ohio-based firm. Uh, why that is, is a question for the General Assembly. The state buys between 360 and 390,000 tons of salt every year to be used in all 88 counties, and it costs taxpayers between 12 and 13 million dollars. Because the state buys in such huge volume, some say it should get a cheaper price, but even some cities and counties in Ohio pay less for their salt. One of the local companies that got the contract says many factors go into making up price. A lot of the county bids require that salt is only dropped off at a particular location, where the state bids require that not only is the salt dropped off, but it's also piled and that it also has to be conveyed. Transportation and time of delivery are other factors that affect price. ODOT says that depending on the county, the state pays from $35 to $42 a ton for road salt. The Kansas company's bid was three to five dollars a ton cheaper. Bob Sermonara, Fox 8 News in Cleveland. Bob says the Buy Ohio law was recently amended to say that the state could not buy salt that is mined outside of the U.S. And that's another reason why the salt company from Kansas was eliminated. Their salt, according to ODOT, is mined in Canada. The American holiday Kwanzaa starts today. Now, what is Kwanzaa? It's about family coming together to talk about what they will do as African Americans. The theme of the holiday is based on seven principles, among them unity, purpose, and faith. Kwanzaa was started in 1966 by the chairman of the Black Studies Department at California State University. Devoted customers and auction junkies packed the Shaker Square coffee shop in search of a few restaurant memories today. Everything from pots and pans to...